Welcome to my channel if you're new otherwise welcome back my name is Zoe but most people know me as ZA Reptiles it is December 1st which means it is officially Hurtmas right our favorite time of year on my channel and to start Hurtmas we're gonna put up a tree but first announcements this year's Hurtmas sweater design is up in my merch store this is the one from last year it's Arcadius and Muppet because that was the year we lost Arcadius so I did this merch design special for him Arcadius and Muppet, but all of the past three years of Hurtmas are also in the merch shop. So if you're new and you missed out in the last three years, all of those Hurtmas sweaters are available to you in the merch shop. But the new design, what is it? Drum roll, please. Da -da 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 Boom! Milk and cookies. Because I finally got the frogs that I have been waiting years to get. We're gonna celebrate by making them the Hurtmas design this year. So this year's design is milk and cookies. And it is my trio of milk frogs, which you can find in the merch shop. That is this year's Hurtmas design. Be sure to let me know what you guys think in the comments. And let's get into the video. So we're gonna start off with a traditional Hurtmas video. We are putting together my animal painted ornament tree. So usually I do a tour of the tree. This year we're doing a video of putting it together. December 1st, it is time for, to put trees up. And it's gonna go right here. So we're in the new house, obviously reptile basement renovations haven't quite gone as planned. They haven't really happened. My Christmas cookies are done, hold on. So anyway, we're in the new house, basement's not done yet. All the animals are in spare bedrooms, so there's not really room in there for an extra tree. So what better place than to decorate our dining room? So the tree is gonna go in this here corner because there's conveniently an outlet already set. And yeah, so we're gonna decorate this corner in the dining room slash kitchen with my little tree with my animal painted ornaments. Most of which you have seen. However, there are, like usual, some new ornaments this year. And I usually add throughout December as zoos start listing them online because of the holidays. In which case, pay attention to TikTok and Instagram because that is where I will put any updates on the ornaments I get after this video has already got up. All right, let's get into it. So if you guys were here for the very first couple of hurt misses, you remember I had a little tiny blue sparkly tree. And last year we outgrew that tiny blue sparkly tree. And thankfully my boss was looking to get rid of this little mid-sized tree. So, I took it and it's now the new animal ornament tree, which I need a tree skirt for actually, but problem for another day. Now the fun part, we have to plug it in. Why is it not turning on? Well, the first hurt miss, uh, excitement, if you will. The lights decided that they just aren't gonna work this year, but thankfully I have plenty of backup strings of lights. So, we are gonna make do by adding some lights on. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is decorate the tree so I can speed it up. And then we're gonna do a tree tour where I'll show you the individual ornaments. That way it goes a little bit quicker, I think. So let's decorate a tree. Thank you. 
Okay, let's go through this tree. So the first one we have here is this little paw print at the top, and this was done by a black and white ruffed lemur. And then if we keep moving around, we have this guy. This was done by a giraffe. I forget where, not labeled, but it was done by a giraffe. Okay, moving on down. This is my newest one. This is my newest one that I just got. So if you watched these videos before, this is a new one. And obviously I had to get it because it is my colors, that blue and green. And it was done by a, and I'm going to absolutely, I'm going to absolutely butcher this, but it was by a Debrazas monkey. Debrazas? Debrazas monkey? Anyway, a monkey that I don't have an ornament for, and it's in my colors, so I had to get it. Down here we have my rhino ornament. So that was clearly done by like rhino skin. And then we have one of my first ornaments. This is by an Asian elephant at the zoo that I worked at slash interned at in college. Working back around. This is one of my favorites. This is a baby tiger paw print from Topeka the Topeka Zoo and then this right here is my favorite ornament or at least one of them just because I really like the frosted glass look and the hanger super pretty but this is another one from the zoo that I interned and worked at in college and it's a baby ocelot footprint so a big thing from when I was there was the baby ocelot so it's a good memorabilia and this I really like because like an upside down mason jar looks like a little lantern. And I believe these are ring tailed lemurs. Um, there's the tag. Oop, and it fell off the tree. Yes, ring tailed lemurs. So, the little fingerprints. And moving down here, these are caiman footprints. Uh, dwarf caiman, my bad. Footprints. This one, super, super cool one, especially for my channel because, you know, we're reptile keepers here. This is a Komodo dragon ornament. So probably, again, the skin of a Komodo dragon. This right here is another good memorabilia piece. This is, again, from the zoo that I interned and worked at. But my first ever internship was with sea lions and river otters. And this is from one of the river otters that I interned with. We have this nice big wooden heart with footprints on it from some cotton top, or a cotton top tamarind named Tina. Down here, a man wolf, maned wolf, however you want to say it, paw print. His name is Guapa. This is another newer one. I don't think this was on my tree last year in the video. And this is by a two-toed sloth. So I do another sloth ornament, but this one's more like a painting. You'll see the other one in a minute though. And then while we're here, we'll hit up this other heart one that I have. And this is by a fossa from the Staten Island Zoo. A lot from Staten Island. This one. This was my first ever animal painted ornament. This is from the troop of gorillas at, again, the zoo from when I was in college. But obviously with my colors, I had to get it. I actually got two, but a couple years ago I actually gifted it to a distant cousin of mine, um, young girl, and she was interested in art, so I gifted her one. And moving over here, another paw print. I really like the clay ornaments, because I think they're super cute. And this was made by a serval. So it's a little serval paw print. This one, right into the lion ones. This was done by a lion tail. So you know, the, the hairs on the tail kind of like a little brush stroke. And then down here, we have a lion nose print. So I thought that was super cool and unique and it just fell off the tree. All right, so here's my other sloth one. And like the lion, this is a sloth nose print. So a sloth painted ornament and a sloth nose print ornament. And then the last one, again, I think this is another new one you guys probably haven't seen yet. And this was done by a black handed spider monkey named Grandpa. So I have all the lights off, I'm just sitting in the ambiance of the tree, but 
that is it for her miss day one that is it for the animal tree like i said i always add more ornaments every year especially in december so be sure to watch my other show social media platforms for updates as new ornaments come in if they do this year don't forget merch link in bio and the next video you're not gonna want to miss so hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and be sure to follow me on instagram because i'm gonna be doing a lot more giveaways this year for Hurt Miss. and so you're gonna want to follow on instagram for those giveaways and we have a giveaway tonight on instagram so be sure to go over there and check it out you don't want to miss it out miss out on it i'll give you a hint it has to do with this video so Thank you guys for watching and we will catch you for the next Hurt Miss video. Bye!